Okay, here we go, guys. Solar powered air conditioner. Four solar panels. Put together. Coming into the charge controller. Focus. Putting at 12.5 volts. Run into the battery. And then here it is. Voila. All I have to do is put the ice in it. Here's the ice. Made it last night. Let me install that. Okay, the ice is in. I don't know if you can see that very well. There's a pump down here. It pumps water through the coil. And then, let's see if you can see it. There you go. Coming out of the hose there. Out of the water, got too much water in there. See there, coming out of the hose. Let me see that. Let's try a different angle. There we go. Pumping out. Pump, pumping cold water through the coils. And let me close it up. And let's okay, we're back. Here's the setup with it closed. And what I did is I actually ran two more lines out the back side for an additional fan that has copper coils on the front. Now this can be eliminated simply by cutting the two lines and splicing it back over to here and you can eliminate that. Let's turn it on and see how she does. Fan. Extra fan. Temperature in the building. Temperature coming out of the cooler. Not focusing very well. The inner one is at the top of Celsius. The inner one is very nice. And it looks like we're about 75 degrees coming out of it so far. Now we just started this. We'll let it run for a while. See how she does. And can you see the clock? 10 o'clock. What we're using here, Harbor Freight solar panel, 100 watt. And two truck stop fans, 12 volts, and Home Depot copper coil. Now, what reason why I built this is we go to the lake a lot, and I ride in the back of a minivan while the woman drives. It just doesn't seem like the air conditioner makes it all the way in the back while I'm watching my movie. So this here can be in the back of the van. Have your drinks in there still. Cold water with the ice. And this can be plugged into a cigarette lighter in your vehicle. So for now, let's let her run and we'll come back and see how it's going. Oh, Let's check the outside temperature. Now this ain't right because it was in the sun. So it's going to have to stabilize itself. But we'll start there as a reference. It's pretty close. One other thing that's nice about this solar panel kit, they come with two LED lights. And it has a switch on it. How about that? 
have seen this set up on YouTube where they hook the inverter up to the battery and they ran an ice box in the house. It'll be another test for another day. Let's uh, let this run for a while. Okay, let's see where we're at. Outside temperature, 100 degrees. Solar panel still in the sun. Got chicken wire around it because stupid dog wants to pee on it. Charge controller, 12.7. Temperature inside, 70 degrees. Temperature in the vent, 70 degrees. Won't focus very well, sorry. How much ice do we have left? That's a failure. That's a failure. But that water sat in there all night long out here in the heat, so the hot water was hot to begin with. Condensation on the coils. They feel cold. Water still must be cold. Still feels good coming out of the vent. Nice cool air. Still running on the end or the uh, solar pressing. Okay, well, I'll drain some of this water out. Go get a bag of ice. I can't make any, can't make a block of ice that fast. Okay. 12.22. And we're back. What I did is I, uh, went and got a bag of ice. Pour it in here, put some of the water out. You have to leave a certain amount of water in there for the pump circulate as it is. And we'll see how long it takes for this to melt. The block ice melted in two hours. And I saw this on YouTube. A guy did a cooler thing like this with a block ice and he said it lasted five hours. Well, is it because my water was hot? I probably should have used cold water to begin with. Or was his environment different than mine. Well, with the bag of ice, actually the temperature now is almost down to 60 coming out of the vent. That's interesting. I think we'll let it run for a while. See how long it takes this ice to melt. Still, solar panels are 12.5. That's gone down a little bit. Is there some shade? Uh, it's a little cloudy. Still producing power though. I really like these lights. I mean, it's got this nice little switch. LED lights. Maybe we should leave those on for a while. And I'll just see in the camera. Turn the overhead lights off. Kind of hard to see with the camera, but they, they are lighting up pretty good. point six clouds must have moved out. Let's let it run and we'll continue 
aren't that. It is now 12, almost 12.35. And we'll be back in an hour. Here we go. Outside temperature 92.4. Let's see what we have inside the building where we are running off of solar power. These are the solar power panels. And let's go inside. We have 12.3 on the solar on the solar module and I went ahead and left the lights on just to see how that would affect temperature which is showing 12.3 at this point on how it will work with the lights staying on. I left them on since the last recording. And our time now looks to be 10 to 3. Do we have any ice left? Our temperature here is actually rock to about 65 degrees. Focus. Hard to get it to focus, but it's actually a drop 65 degrees. On this one, a little bit below 70 degrees. Still have condensation on the coils. They feel pretty cold. Let's see what we have left in the cooler. And we do have ice left. Ice left, not much, but there is ice left. So, is it a failure? Or is it doing something? We got 95 outside. We're showing 68 degrees coming out of the vent. We're showing room temperature at 70 degrees, a little bit below, 69, in a room that is, what is the room, 16 by 22 foot room, so I would like to see the ice last longer, call it a success. But I don't think the ice is lasting long enough to call it a success, but it is working. So will you get a couple hours out of it for a two or three hour ride in the back of a van? I would say yes. So until next time, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you on our next video.